Hi, I'm JD Brake, and the reason I'm actually being quiet for once is we are here in the Indianapolis Public Library. I'm here with Ryan Jackson from Custom Controls, and uh, they have been tasked with a complete upgrade uh, on the HVAC equipment here. Uh, Ryan, why don't you kind of walk us through, kind of give us a little synopsis of what you're all doing here at the Indianapolis Public Library. Well, we're at the Central Library downtown Indianapolis. Uh, the original system was made up about 300 proprietary uh, controllers. Proprietary is a bad word. Yeah. Um, the only people that could work on it were the original manufacturers, and we're here replacing it with an open disk tech system. It's BACnet, it's Tritium. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the kind of buzzwords that everyone's looking to see. That means that uh, they're not limited to one vendor. So right. we're doing a complete upgrade, VAV boxes, air handlers, hot water system, chilled water system, uh, basically getting this building under control. <laughs> Have you ever done a library like this before on this grand scale? Because this is a big, big building. Um, this is by far the biggest library, although this is, I believe, the 19th branch we've done for the Indianapolis Public uh -huh. Library. All 19 branches talk to each other. Mm -hmm. This one being the biggest, they've kind of held off. You know, they wanted to, uh, to all work together, and so they made the leap and are tying this final branch into the other, other 18. So this building had a particular challenge in that because they had proprietary controls, it was proprietary communications, it wasn't BACnet, it wasn't the lawn works, it wasn't Modbus. Right. An entire floor had to be done in one shot, otherwise you lose communication and lose control of the building. Walk us through what a typical night was for you all trying to speed along this process. Well, we arrived at 5.30, uh, the library closed at 6 o'clock, and so we had our team assembled, and as soon as the uh, announcement came that the library was closed, we tore up all the carpet squares in the areas that the DAV boxes were located. I uh, took a drill and started popping out the screws. We had teams broken into half, you know, one takes half the building, one team takes the other half the building. Um, you pull up the floor and then somebody starts unwiring, somebody starts mounting the new controller, somebody starts uh, terminating the, the new wiring and just test it out and hope that everything works. And then when there's a problem, we go back and resolve it. Now, was it fair that since you were probably the most slender of the uh, customer controls team that you had to go into the floor and crawl through there? Uh, there was a couple of spots where the floor would not come up, so I had to crawl in through one of the ventilation ducts in the floor. So it was uh, a little bit of a challenge for now, sure. And then we also just heard, uh, I guess, did you almost get trapped uh, in the floor? Uh, somebody put the uh, floor cover back on while I was inside, yes. Oh, you're not claustrophobic, are you? No, not at all. Okay, yeah, that, no dice for me. That would have not been good. All right, Ryan, we're now able to speak at normal volume because we're not in the library. We're in the mechanical room. Now, we're looking at one of the panels that you all have built at the shop and brought here. Kind of walk us through, you know, this is a disc tech panel right here. Um, what is this all controlling? What's tied into this panel right here? So this particular panel serves the entryway. It's a big glass uh, entrance. You see if you're driving down the street or you walk into the library. Yeah. So this, this entire thing just controls a tiny section of the library. Yes, uh, there's an air handler that feeds that area, and then there's VAV boxes actually in the floor. Okay, so now who's controlling all of this on the front end? Yeah, they actually have a control room in this building that can see all 19 locations. Oh, wow. Um, so they can pull it up on the computer, check temperatures. We have it configured so they'll get alarms if something goes out of whack. Hopefully they don't freeze and bust a coil, that type of thing. Yeah, no kidding. Well, Ryan, you guys did an incredible job here, and I know the people here in Indianapolis are incredibly impressed uh, here at the library. For the contractors watching this, the Customer Controls team is willing to do this, go above and beyond, and get you these type of projects so you don't have to say no. Throw your hat in the ring, get that bid, and be able to bring in the Customer Controls uh, people to do the job and get it done quick and efficiently. So, Ryan, thank you so much for coming on. You guys did an amazing, amazing work here, and I'm sure everyone here is uh, appreciative of that. But I'm JD Brake. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.